Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Kessin 2 and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com Alright, Battle of Bowling Po is finished, or Bowan Pwn exactly And now we gotta deal with the showdown at Chibi once more Yep, we did it as Yubei and Sun Quan, and now we're gonna go ahead and do it as Cao Cao. Cao Cao mercilessly pounds Liu Bei's army and gains control over the Jing province. Like a boss. Now, only Liu Bei, who has fled to Jiakou, and Sun Quan of Wu remain in Cao Cao's way. Uh oh, this might in be a problem. For the final battle against the forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan, Cao Cao begins training his navy in Jiangling. Oh, irony, because if you actually look at the real history of the Battle of Chibi, I believe Kao Kao didn't really train his army I'll for that. I'll find your ideas for conquering the land. Even after Sun Quan and Liu Bei have joined forces, our army's overwhelming supremacy is clear. The imposing sight of our forces on the march will cause the enemy to cower and flee. Send both Liu Bei and Sun Quan secret letters, casting doubts upon each other. Then they will be tormented with anxiety. <laughs> My lord's wonderful gift for poetry is well known. To rally the soldiers, why don't you compose a poem before this next battle? Sire, what do you wish us to do? Well, honestly, I'm actually in consideration of choosing Chen Ju's plan here. Because although, you know, it is pretty devious, I won't lie, when you cause rift among enemies who are working together, it always seems to be very effective. Then again, there's also the pressure of the enemy troops, which I think will be good too. I could get them to lose their morale. And to raise morale with poetry, well, I already got a lot more morale than it is right now, so there's no reason to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and call stress them on the enemy. That seems to be a pretty good tactic. Right. Do it. But I am warning you all, do not fail me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Wouldn't it be funny if they actually failed him? And look at what we got here. Our scheme was a success. The two armies no longer trust each other. Before long, someone is going to do something very foolish. Oh yes, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Chengdu? Because uh, what happens if they actually see through this plot? Hmm? Now, ready for battle, Cao Cao's fleet departs from Xiangling and takes position on the north coast of Chibi. Meanwhile, Sun Quan, leading Wu's fleet, joins Liu Bei's fleet in Jiakou. Together they sail to a site along Chibi's southern coast. Cao Cao, with a fleet twice the size of Liu Bei and Sun Quan's, sets out for battle. Now, the greatest naval battle in history is about to begin. Th that's subjective right there. There are a lot of good naval battles that happen in human history. I can't really list them off the top of my head. But I know there was a lot of good naval battles. And this one is probably one of those naval battles, to be honest with you. So, Liu Bei has the guts to fight me? Liu Bei has joined the Sun Quan and is preparing to attack. However, they have only half our strength. We have nothing to fear. Oh, what fools they are. You who know not the mandate of heaven. You fools who would oppose me with your little limp fists. I, Cao Cao, will not be defeated. <laughs> and there goes that generic laugh once again, people. Well, now will you tell me where the Imperial Seal is? You may take the world by force, but there will still be rebellions. An unsure hand guarantees rebellion. Unless all traces of the old world vanish, a new world cannot be built. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh is actually pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Commence the war council. Report on your situation. According to the scouting unit's report, the enemy presently occupies this position. Or enemies, technically? Well, looks like there are four 
four armies each. You know, there's four on Yu Bei side and four on Sun Quan's side. It's good to know. To be victorious in this battle, General Liu Bei's unit and Sun Quan's unit must both be forced to flee. If my lord must <laughs> flee, kill right there. then we will lose. State your strategies. Please listen to my humble strategy. In this battle, Sun Quan's army will be more trouble than Liu Bei's. Therefore, the best strategy is for us to mobilize our entire army against General Sun Quan and annihilate him. Losing their general will demoralize Sun Quan's army and they will no longer be a threat. Cao Cao, what about my strategy? I don't trust you, Bing Liang. I think he's got something up his sleeve. You've got to take Liu Bei out first. Because if you finish off Liu Bei, then no matter what Zhuge Liang does, it'll mean deadly, right? My lord, I offer you this strategy. Let's chain the boats together. They will become like one large ship. Then our soldiers can walk around as if they were on land. This way we will have more soldiers than the enemy, and so we will have the advantage in battle. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? Well, uh, I can tell you guys right now that I'm just going to go ahead and employ this woman's plan here. I think the change ship plan will do pretty nicely. Considering the fact that I have a pretty enough a large army, I think it's gonna be enough to take out both you know Lu Bei's forces and Sun Quan's forces at the same time. I don't really want to focus on one of them, because if I focus on one of them, well then the other one's just gonna go ahead and get me from behind. I don't want to have to take any chances with that. Huh. So apparently Cao Mao wasn't in this battle. Weird considering that I used Cao Mao when I was in Yu Bei's campaign, but alright, screw it, forget it. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this plan here. Let's use this strategy. Battle. Yes, yes, sir. Hopefully, Luke Lake Yam won't be able to get the winds going so he can do that whole little fire technique he did. Kimiko was right to sink Luke Lake Yon's suspicions or something here. Look. Liu Bei's fleet. Cow Cow, it's okay. Because I will be with you. <laughs> Kimiko, victory is already in our hands. They will be destroyed. You never know. Something bad could happen. But if it does, I'll protect you. I'd do... I'd do anything for you, Cao Cao. I... My lord, the enemy is preparing a fire attack. Dick. Ho ho ho, wow. I love you. And you love me too, don't you? He didn't hear you. Yeah, he didn't hear you, clearly. Oh, I guess he did. Wow. Please let this be a dream sequence. <laughs> the fool. Thank you. fire attack. Without any wind, they'll be lucky to light a torch. Right now, the enemy is bleeding with heaven. Oh, yes. And heaven is on our side. <laughs> the mandate of heaven is with us. To battle! All right, so we're back on the sea again, in a form of a naval battle. Lord <sighs> Fei, Master Zhang Fei, and Master Gang Ning got into a fight. There were casualties on both sides. What are you thinking, Zhang Fei? Can't you see this is part of the enemy's whole plan? <laughs> a part of me had a feeling that it would be Zhang Fei to be the one to get into a fight with another person. I mean, come on, you guys seen his personality and attitude. He's like that. Can't blame him. But good. So fortunately, the morale in their troops numbers have been depleted. Or it has taken a hit, to be exact here. They didn't deplete it. But, which is good. So let's just go ahead and play the waiting game once more again. When the last time I did this, I had Kai Mao on my group and I already told you this before just a second ago but I just wanted to remind you again but this time I'm over here in Cow Cow's forces and I'm up on top instead of being on the bottom and I only could control one army instead of two 
So yeah, there's that. Boy, this is gonna take a while, huh? Okay then, just gonna keep waiting, huh? Well, I do like that uh, all the boats are all chained up together. But if you look back to the last time I did a naval battle, I was over there facing off against Sun Quan's army, and it was harder for me to take out Sun Quan and his forces because of the, well, not only because of the fact that I had to deal with you know them, Wang Yu, and you may be outnumbered, but when the other forces decided to come in play, it was harder for me because all the boats were all separated from each other. You know, I wanted them all together, so it was a lot more better in order for me to walk around, around and stuff. Well, that and the fact that I couldn't really use any other attacks, like charge or rush. I mean, I could use some magic attacks, but I don't think I could use all of them. That's the same. But anyway, well, here are all the other ships that I see. So it looks like, from the looks of things, the first battle is going to be between Heng He and maybe Guan Yin. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll just get Heng He over here to attack Guan Yin. I want to make it all one-on-one -on -one battles here. I don't want to have anyone getting double teamed. And I will not mind if someone is uh, one of the Kakao soldiers double teaming you base. Huh. Hmm. Scratch that idea. I think I might just go ahead and get you to attack Kakashi Chi or whatever his name is. And then the yeah, whole boss attacks and, you know, there we go. I get it on there. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and get... I might just get Zoom Yu to go ahead and just take a straight attack against uh, Zhang Fei. Should be more easy. Okay, everything seems to be in order. Let me just get Yu Jin down here, of all people. Attack Guan Yu. I doubt he's gonna win, to be honest with you people. And Cow Cow Yu, you just uh, do whatever you want, honestly. Your order? Yeah, just wait till they attack you or something. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what to do in a sec. Let me just go to this first battle here. Okay, so Mei Ning's in the battle now. That's good. Because the more they're in battle, the quicker this is going to be. Or the faster they're in battle, the quicker this is going to be. Okay, good. Let's see. And he's got Volley, which is useless in a battle like this. And he's got Charge, which is also useless. Oh, God. Yep, I can already tell this is going to be a war of attrition here. Or a battle of attrition for that matter. Oh, and I also noticed that the enemy has about six total attacks it can use. And what's happening here? Oh, good, he's him. He's going to do that flute thing that he's done again, over and over again, huh? Hope you guys don't mind, I'm just skipping this, because I really don't want to see this again. I mean, if you want to see it again, just look back at the previous episodes. I mean, pretty sure he's done it at least two times. Oh, of course he's gonna be in Shang Ring. Of course he's gonna have to half ass it too. Which is good. I don't mind one bit. People. How many you knocked down? Only four. Uh, I knocked that guy down by the beginning, huh? Ooh, I'm scared from the guy that took out four soldiers and knocked one down when I was getting up. Yeah, you're not going to intimidate me. Ooh, can we get Saint Fei to... No, can we get... Can we double team Saint Fei? That'd be awesome. Well, we can't double team Saint Fei, but what I mean is, can we get... Can we outnumber Saint Fei here to cause him to stress and lower his morale more? Okay, so we're going to... How Hong Ba is going to go up against uh, Sun Quan. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see if we can get Cao Cao to go behind Sun Quan. That way I can just, you know, deal with Sun Quan and get rid of him now so I can focus on you base forces. Also, to let you guys know, from what I've seen when I practice played this, I do not think that the scene that you guys seen in the U-Base campaign where Luke Gagian goes ahead and summons wind and use that fire attack crap is going to happen here. So that's a good and fortunate. All right, Chengdu, what do you got? Oh, good, you got a meteor shower. Good, you got a magic attack. Okay, there's not much forces around here, though, which sucks, but I guess I'll have to deal with it. I'll just keep on hitting these women. Boy, that sounds really wrong. Oh, my God. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's even more better to see my old soldiers. And that are men, so. Okay. 
Let me get out of here for a moment here. What's going on here? Yep, yep, yep. I need you to go ahead and take out Sun Quan because he is double teaming. Well, not double teaming, but he's just basically getting on Zahon Dun's back. Okay, Yu Bei still has yet to be in a battle. Let me have a look at Yu Bei for a moment. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Oh, no, I can do this. Okay, well, he has more troops than the time when I played as him in the campaign. And holy crap, he's pretty balanced. Look at that shit. I don't think. I don't think he was that balanced when I played as him. Of course, he's got Rally, Iron Wall, and a Battle Cry. Alright then, pretty clear. I'll just control... Who can I control? Uh, Liang, Liang Yao, or something like that? Sure. Please let you... Ooh, goody! Looks like this guy's got Raid. Uh, I don't really want to use Raid here. Maybe I can just go and do it at another place. Probably somewhere in a corner where there's a lot of guys in green. Because if I use right here, I'm basically hitting my own men. And the enemy blue main is a shake of firestorm. I can't do anything about that, honestly. So I'll just do it right over here in front of those guys that are confused with the question mark. Because they're all sitting there and Guan needs to initiate a raid. That's just perfect. Uh, see, that's the thing about this battle here is Cow Cow's, when you're playing as Cow Cow's forces. Most of them attacks only work on land okay some of them work on the sea but most of them don't work on the sea that's the same however the Bay and Sun Quan's forces have attacks that can work on naval battles so that's the thing about that so it becomes a little bit more difficult in a way in this battle when you're playing as Cow Cow's forces as opposed to playing as Bay's forces you are nothing Okay, how much I'm taking out? Okay, good. Sun Fei is about to hit the red, which I am going to like pretty much. That's what you get for getting them to fight with your own team members. Or allies, for that matter. Okay, Yu Bei is just going to cause Yu Jin a lot of stress, huh? Huh. Now, maybe I should just change up my plans here. Maybe I should just go ahead and how about Yu Jin? I mean, yeah, I don't like the character. I mean, there's got to be offenses in some rights, but I don't like getting him double teamed. I mean, I control him. He's on my side. If he goes down, then I'll have one less soldier to deal with. Or to work with here. Which I do. Um, or I could just go ahead and take out Zhang Fei real fast. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me just go ahead and get you, uh, her to just attack Yu Bei. Yeah, there's no need for that. She's a lot more closer to Yu Bei. And Kao Kao just go ahead and attack Sun Quan here. Down Hong Doon is uh, doing okay. Uh, Dan Yu has a lot of morale though. Let me check out Sun Hong Doon here. I don't want anything happening to the big guy. Oh, right. He's got a battle cry and duel. Well, I might as well just go ahead and use a battle cry. Unfortunately, he's the only one there in that battle. There's no one else. Jeez, Kao Kao, what's taking you so long, buddy? I think you would have been there by now. Then again, you are on sea, technically. You don't really have a motor or anything like that. Boy, living back then must have sucked. I mean, considering the fact that you can easily get sick and there was hardly really a cure or, you know, medicine like that. Kind of makes me grateful I'm living here in 2015. As of this video, of course. I mean, I'm sure they had some remedies to combat some diseases, but, you know, compared to the medicine we have now, they were pretty less effective. And St. Faye's almost out of here. That's good. If I take out St. Fei, I'll probably go ahead and get Lane Diao to go after Zub I mean, Yubei and probably just get her to put pressure on Yubei, too. Huh. So, there's a battle right here I've not yet mentioned. Cow Rain between Mei and Ng. Let's have a look at this real fast. Cow Rain has Riley. Okay. What about Cow Hong? Ooh, is there relations there, maybe? I probably think not, honestly. Okay, let's see here. Come on, I can't enter. Are you serious? Okay, now I can enter. Okay, he's shooting hail, fine by me. 
Boy, I, let me check on the let me check up on that woman. Where, hey, where is she? Oh, there she is. Well, she's taking a beating and lost half her morale, but she's still going good against Guan Ning. That's as good as what matters. Boy, Saint Fei is almost out of there, huh? It's just a matter of time. Oh, almost forgot. I forgot Zhu Yin. Or Zan Zhu. Whatever her name was. Can I please control her game? Thank you. Zoom you. That's that's it. Zoom you. That's there we go. Okay, let's get you over here now. We'll surround you, Bay. And Cow Cow is almost right there next to Sun Quan. He's right behind uh, another one of Su Quan Su Quan's generals. Whoa, wait. I wonder. Is Kimiko here? Is she with Cow Cow? I would assume so. Yeah, there she is, right there. The there dark. is no army that we cannot stop. Today's a bitter drink. All right, Zhang Fei's out of here. No! How dare you do that? Let's get up over here, boy. Zhu Jing, you took a pretty big beating, huh? Be really sad if you go down here. Please tell me to God that you have a... Uh, no, you don't have Rally, unfortunately. What about she has Rally? She has a battle cry. Okay, fine. I guess that can help out, I guess. Yeah, you guys back off that women. I mean, woman. What about you? Do you have something useful? Oh, you got Rush. Okay, then fine. I need need training to learn new abilities that's what you guys need okay Lang yeah I'm gonna need you to go around um, who is that oh Guan Yu need you to go ahead and stress the crap out of Guan Yu yeah Eugene I just need you to survive a little bit longer matter of fact why don't I just retreat for a second that seems to be the best option for Eugene then Lia Yao takes up against Guan Yu, then Zun Yu goes up against Yu Bei. Yeah, that seems to be a good that seems to be a good option. Let's do that. Yeah, you need to hurry it up, bro. I wonder how exactly are they getting that thing to move, the wheels and such? Are there guys actually moving it? Curiosity, honestly. Good, the enemies is around us and quads in this ray. Fudge. Ah, everybody run. Hate to say this, you Jim, but sorry I couldn't get you. Don't worry, your loss will be avenged. Alright, let's go ahead and get uh take on Yu Bay here. Okay. Who's next on getting a force to flee? Well, there's not really. Hey, right, Hang He, I think you're in a bit of a trouble here. You don't really have much morale or troops, so let's go ahead and switch to you for a second here. All right, you got volley. Why do I always forget so much? It's on you. Everyone, prepare yourselves. So, Zhang Liao, just you wait. All right, those two have history together. Of course, I almost forgot. Be interesting to see how that would be in an actual movie. I mean, I know there's a live-action movie based on battles like these with Jane Fay and you know Yubei and crap, but they're a lot different from the you know what we're seeing right now here in the character wise. Okay, Tashi she is almost done. Just a few more seconds would do it. Unfortunately, he has a lot of troops, and it's probably why he's, you know, his morale is not depleting as much as I would like to. Oh, never mind. It's, he's been defeated. Good. Okay, let me see here. What's the next best possible strategy here? Okay, well, since you're close to Guan Nin, let's go ahead and get you to cause Guan Nin to go in disarray here. Or a trip for that matter. And Sun Quan's about to go down, which I am loving to death. Okay, what else can I do here? Uh, not really else I can really do here, to be honest with you. Everything's going according to plan. That's how I had planned it. 
Let's go ask Zahoom Ball for a moment. So I doubt you have uh, anything that would be useful here in this naval battle, do you? Oh, you got Raid. Okay, cool. Raid could help out a lot. Let's use this. It's good that you have Raid, man. I've already talked about how I like Raid. It's like my favorite attack in the game here. I mean, it's very accessible. That's especially accessible. Can I get... Come on, let me just get... The, damn it! Oh my god, it's like the controller, you know, didn't work for me. Like, the game just immediately controls that home ball that moment there. But like I said, so it's Raid is a very good technique. It can be used basically in any any type of battle, whether land or sea, or those gate battles too. So it's, and depending on, uh, you know, who you hit, it's how much the army is going to lose their forces or the opposing army. Oh, some question to Shingarali, huh? That might be a little too late there. How much you got back? Huh? It didn't do shit. Wow, that's actually the most useless rally I've ever seen in this game here. Victory is ours. Ha! You may have saved your lord, but you know, I think Wang Ying may be Sun Quan's Sang Fei. You know, I just assume so because of the tattoos that he wears around him and such. All right, Peng Tan's initiating a fireball. I can't do anything about that. Okay, well, it looks like just like that. I think all of Sun Quan's forces have been depleted. Well, there's this guy here. Who I believe it's their strategist. So we're going to get you to go and attack Sun Lee here. Or no, better yet, let's get Heng He to attack Sun Lee. And then I'll get you over here, and then I'll make you go down. Then I'll go over to the left to attack uh, probably Guan Yu, you know. And Zahun Ba, I want you to move up with them. Let's go down here. Okay, perfect. Oh, Pain Talks initiating a meteor shower. Can't do anything about that. Oh, Zahun Ba has learned Goose. Okay, good. I have no idea what Goose is, and in case you were wondering, uh, I know Goose is an animal, but I'm talking about the formation here, in this game here. <laughs> I just see all these opposing forces using their attacks and such, and part of me just realizes that it's not going to work. It's not going to help them. We outnumber them, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 9 to, I believe, 5? Yeah, 9 to 5. No, actually, nine, yeah, nine to five. That's it. Okay, so Sun Quan's, Sun Quan's out. So now I just need to take out Yu Bei in order to consider this a win. Really hoping I can do that. When next, I don't know, ten minutes. Pretty short episode when you consider the fact that I had to split the uh, episode when, the, when I did this battle with, as Yu Bei in the two parts. Okay, everyone, make a beeline over to Yubei, or Yubei's forces for that matter. I want to do it how I, I did it with Cow Cow when I was playing the Yubei's campaign in this battle. Just around the crap out of Yubei, just watch the morale deplete so fast, it's not even funny. You know what I'm saying? Okay, good. All right, look at the mom on the move. You know, it can be really nice when you see these guys moving around and such when you gave the orders and tell them where to go. Just, I don't know, there's something about that in strategy games that make you feel intelligent. I don't know what I want, though. We won, and that is the way it always should be. I can't believe you. Idiots! Okay, good. Some Quan's forces have officially been depleted or or gone officially all right so i don't need to tell everyone else what i'm about to do next so with that being said let's just go ahead and get these guys to move over here it's going to be a real hassle because i'm going to have to wait and also you guys are going to have to wait too or i could just do editing 
That would be a good idea. Probably gonna just do some editing here. Speed it up a bit for you guys so you don't have to wait about all this. I'm a carry guy. Ugh. This is uh it's gonna take a time, huh? Alright, fine then. Well, uh so I heard there's gonna be a uh a game coming out soon. What game you ask? Well, I mean, there's a lot of games coming out. I'm just trying to spark up conversations here. I mean, you guys are probably gonna hear a little small squeaky voice and crap, but uh you know just saying so. Okay, good. You're far enough. All right, you go over here to the side a bit. And you are going to go up here now. Okay, that's good. Oh, looks like Guan, you might be going out right now. Cause I see that green dot, and I have a pretty good feeling that's Guan Yu. Because... Last time I checked, Guan Yu was in that spot where the dot is, or where there was technically a blinking green dot. Rally was just used. I believe it was Guan Ping. I don't think Guan Yu has Rally. No, Guan Yu doesn't have Rally. Okay, good. Time to move. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, really? Fine then. I'm gonna need you to retreat then, if that's the case. I need you to move up here. Surround Mei Shining here. Okay, hang he. You just, you just stay there. Just stay there. Cause him to ray. Screw it. Cause one you to ray. And then we'll get you to move over here now. I just realized something right now, people. There's only one. No, no, no. Never mind. There's only. I was gonna say there was one vow, but uh, there's two vows in that woman's name. There is no army that we cannot stop. What's going on there? But I never lose. Because if there had been just only one vow, it would have been way hard for me to pronounce that woman's name. Who Zuzi? Who Zuzi? I could probably just look up on the web. I mean, I could just use, I don't know, Google Translate or anything like that to find out how to pronounce it. But the thing is, the thing is Google Translate, I don't think they pronounce it right themselves. That woman, that automated woman machine speaking voice. Yeah, so kind of a loose-loose situation on there. Okay, Mission Inc's in disarray. That's good. Only a matter of time now. I'll soon have you right where I want you. Uh, okay. Why are you not retreating? I gave you the order to retreat. Screw it. I'm not even going to bother. Okay, so I'm going to do. Let's see if we can put you in here if it's possible. Okay, it took me a while, but I think it's worth the wait. Leave it to me. You know? I will go at once. Yeah, you do that, please. Because uh, one of your own allies is about to be forced to flee, and I would hate to see them go. Especially considering it's that woman who makes the plans, or have pretty good plans that I actually choose. Seems to be a real competent woman. Uh. Ah, look! They're beaten. Victory is ours. What a bunch no, we're not. But well, she's gone now, unfortunately. So, of course, I'm going to win this, but without, not without casualties. But I guess the old saying, sacrifices need to be made in order to get gain, has to be said here. Okay, let's move it up here. Okay, we're going to get you over to the side here. Boy, I want to see who's going to go into battle against you, Bay. Have you learned? Not yet, then. I'm not ready to die. Not right here. Alright, Mission Ng's down and now all there is is just Yubei. And looks like Yubei is in battle with... Oh, Ang Liao. Okay, hold on, let me do this. 
Let me just go ahead into that battle real fast. I want to see the morale drop so fast it's not even funny. Oh, Yubei doesn't really have much morale to begin with. That sucks. Oh, screw it. Ooh, how long to learn the special ability snipe? I believe it has something to do with launching more arrows at them. I don't really know. Okay, morale's going down here. Oh, it'd be nice if you actually see the ships outside there in the battle. I guess that'd be too the much for the PS2 system. Alright, perfect. So that battle was done. And if you ask me, I think it was a lot more easier than doing the battle over there as uh, the when I'm doing the U-Base campaign. Victory. Even though I couldn't do most attacks, it just felt easier to me over there in this one. Lord. What's wrong? I came as fast as I could. Ma Chao of Xi has raised an army. He's on his way to the capital. What? Ma Chao, what? <laughs> you make it sound like that you're talking to him. Ma I'm Chao, I mean. I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see. Fortune increased 37. Let's see, force have increased, supplies have increased from 51, and military skills have increased to 52. Good. All officers who survived the battle have gained experience. Lao Li Jang Yao's spear unit has been advanced to heavy spear. Uh, that woman's spear unit has been advanced to heavy spear. Kabu's cavalry has been advanced to heavy cavalry, and Chang Yu's bull unit has been advanced to longbow. All right, good. Huh. Looks like Yu Chang is going for a lot of problems. Yes, this is it for the Han Empire. Everyone says that Lord Cao Cao wants to start a new government, but I don't think I want the kind he's thinking about. Hey, I think this Leo Bayfell would make a fine ruler. Everyone says that he's a decent man. Shh. Keep your voice down. If Cao Cao's troops hear you talking like that, you'll regret it. <laughs> Funny thing about this, because this scene was also in Yubei's campaign, but I don't see why the developers decided to put that scene in Cow Cow's campaign. It's not like John Yoon's in Cow Cow's group. Let's go ahead and save this game. Uh, just save over the battle of Room Ran. Room 9. Okay, good. Show down that Chibi's done. And uh, I'll actually go ahead and continue on here. I want to make the ending a bit different. Ooh, the battle at Tong Gate. All right, then. This one's actually exclusive to Cow Cow, I believe. Victorious in the naval battle at Chi Bi, decides the time is now right for an attack on Wu. However, Cow Cow receives an urgent report from the capital. West Ji's Ma Chao, at the head of the Great Army, is storming Chang'an. Cow Cow reluctantly orders his entire army to withdraw from Wu and returns to Zhucheng. Wait, you need to withdraw the entire army? You sure you can't just get like half your army to deal with that rebellion? Outline your ideas for conquering the land. Machao enjoys the thrill of battle, but not the boring details. He can often leave his flanks inadequately defended. If we attack his supply unit from the rear, it will crush their morale. This is the way I see it. It's very clear. Our army still has many areas that need much improvement. I suggest you assign me to troop training duty. Mat Chao's army is sweeping aside everything in its path. To counteract their onslaught, we need to increase our manpower. Sire, what do you wish us to do? I will tell you guys what I'm going to do in the next episode, everybody. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and be safe. Till next time.